We're gonna start though with a hilarious Kahoot. It's homemade by me. So let me explain to you guys the concept of this custom Kahoot that I have made. If you have ever been in a fishing Facebook group, whether it be for your state or your county or country or whatever, there's usually a Facebook group for fishing and the people in there tend to know absolutely nothing about fish. They know fishing, they know locations and how to pull things up, but like the names of fish and the species and all that, they usually have no idea what they're talking about. So when people ask for identifications in these groups, the answers are usually ridiculous and hilarious so what i did is i went into the new jersey where i live new jersey fishing group and i searched up id looking for people who had looked for ids and then collected the worst possible identifications that people put up and i made it into a kahoot because i thought that that would be the most fun so essentially how the quiz is going to work is i am going to show you a picture of a fish that was posted in the new jersey fishing group chat and then you're going to have to tell me what someone actually identified seriously identified in the comments this fish as question number one of bad fish ids what was this fish seriously id'd as do you see this fish way above the water here on a river very clearly, let me get out of the way, this is an American Shad. Very clearly an American Shad. Which of these <laughs> fish did someone seriously identify it as in the New Jersey fishing group chat? Yeah, they're all awful, but only one, at least for this question. Some questions, multiple, but for this question, one. What is it doing up there? They can jump really high. They're a migratory fish, like salmon, so they have to be able to jump over barriers and get up waterfalls and shit. Anyways, this fish in the New Jersey fishing group chat was identified as an Asian carp. <laughs> uh, flying fish was a good bait answer, but someone said that this tiny shad shaped fish was an Asian carp and they seriously guessed that. What was this fish seriously identified as? Now, this is an inshore lizard fish. This is an ocean fish. It's very common being called a lizard fish. Which of these did someone in the comments of the identification on Facebook say that it is? All right, well, most everybody answered, so I'm going to skip. That's right. Both a wolf fish and a juvenile snakehead were given as serious attempts of identification at that inshore lizard fish. <laughs> An eel would make more sense. These are just fucking insane. Yes, a wolf fish. That was a genuine thing that someone identified it as. At least they were in salt water. This one isn't even the right. This is this is fresh water. They weren't even in the right fucking salinity level. This is a, a reverse question. What wasn't this fish ID'd as? So three out of the four possibilities for this fish were put in the comments. Which one wasn't? Which of these is fake? Which of these did I make up? Consider the fact that three out of the four of these were genuine attempts at identification. Three out of the four of these were genuine attempts at identification of this fish. There's only one of these that was not a genuine attempt. No way someone said flounder. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> That's right, chat. The only one that makes even a little bit of sense, it being a baby grouper, was not an identification. This fish was identified as a short-nosed sturgeon, a saltwater snakehead, which doesn't exist, and, believe it or not, a flounder. <laughs> Someone genuinely called that a flounder. <laughs> Alright, next question. Back to the general idea. What was this fish ID'd as? Just, you know, a guy out on the... Out on the water, he called himself a smallmouth bass. All right, cool. Smallmouth bass, pretty common. He's having a good day. He had a, he had a nice one. He caught, a, he caught his nice smallmouth bass, and he asked the group chat, he said, hey, guys, what is this? Now tell me, which of these did someone say that it is? Goldfish would be hilarious, but I still have faith in humanity. Well, I hate to break this to you, but it was identified as both a goldfish and an inland red snapper, which I don't even know what the fuck that's supposed to mean. But that was genuine identifications of that smallmouth bass. You would think someone would have called it a largemouth, and it's like, okay, yeah, sure, it's a largemouth smallmouth. They look fairly similar. You just don't know your ID keys. Nope, not one person said largemouth bass, but someone said goldfish and someone said inland red snapper. <laughs>
All right, what was this fish ID as, chat? Pretty obvious. It's a mummy chog. It is a type of killifish. Everybody knows the mummy chog. It's a very common, you know, fresh saltwater estuarine fish. They're everywhere. They're very pretty. People find them all the time. They can be used as good bait fish. And they are in the killifish family. They are in the same family as these three answers. Striped killifish, rainwater killifish, banded killifish. It would be reasonable for someone to look at this and say, okay, it's this killifish. You know, this one actually looks pretty similar. It could be this killifish. This one's a little less reasonable, but hey, it's still possible. This one's even less reasonable, but it's still a killifish. And I'm saying that because the answer, unfortunately, is bullhead minnow. This was identified as a bullhead minnow in the Facebook group. <laughs> which you guys I can tell are losing your faith in humanity because you're getting more right you're just picking the stupidest answer and getting it right every time because the stupidest answer is always the answer all right this is a different type of question which ID was given most so this is a common shiner this is a very obvious common shiner any person who knows anything about fish could identify this as a common shiner but I'm not asking you which dumb, you know, rare ID was given. What was the single most replied comment? In the other ones, it's been like, okay, well, like one person said something dumb or two people said something dumb. In this one, I am asking you what was said the most? What was the group consensus? You would think that on a common shiner, the group consensus would be a common shiner, but unfortunately it's not. It's a creek chub. And I have a quote here from someone in the Facebook group. This person said in the group, because a bunch of people were saying common shiner and a bunch of people were saying creek chub. This person said, if you think this is a shiner, your fishing license should be revoked. Speaking as an ichthyologist, that's a common shiner. So maybe that guy's fishing license should be revoked instead. <laughs> Just fucking ridiculous. All right, two more questions. What was this fish ID'd as? This, of course, is a golden shiner. Pretty easy ID when they're big. I mean, their body shape is unlike most other fish. Should be really easy to tell what this is when it's big. Everybody, you know, everybody should look at this and be like golden shiner. Yeah, obviously. Rudd could also be somewhat reasonable. They look somewhat alike. Rudd is kind of a stupid answer because we're in New Jersey, not in, you know, Europe. But like... It's, you know, it, that's somewhat reasonable. But uh, unfortunately, this was identified as a blue marlin. This one was like on the edge of like, this person has to be kidding. They, like, I... <laughs> but like, usually they'll like put a laughing face. They just said blue marlin. <laughs> Insane. All right, one more chat to decide who knows the stupid people the best. Winning this one probably isn't a good thing. What was this fish ID as, the final fish? This, of course, being a fall fish. Pretty common fish in New Jersey. They get pretty big. They're pretty distinct. It's pretty hard to identify it as anything except a fall fish, but what did the people in the New Jersey Facebook group say? It was not puffer fish, that was a bait. This was identified as both a tarpon, an ocean fish, and a landlocked salmon. <laughs> Two equally ridiculous answers. Puffer fish is ridiculous, but tarpon is just fucking mind-bogglingly stupid. And yet it was a genuine ID. Alright, congratulations. You are the closest to the people identifying improperly. Is that fucking Albert Einstein as a mouse? Okay, dead guy with goggles or uh, headphones and the winner. Damn, by like barely any points. Cheese, the guy who has a brain for a head. That makes sense. Congratulations for being the most aware of the stupid people. That was my custom Kahoot I created just for you guys. I thought you would enjoy it because I thought it was funny.